Okay, now we want to learn if we have a, a shape file here, the polygon, about the land cover or land uses, which it contain contains strings like the forest, empty area, grasslands, and uh, residential areas. So this kind of classes, but it's come as a string without values, no values, names, just names. In this case, to deal with it in uh, R, actually, we it's much easier if we have uh, numeric values instead of those strings. For example, if we have the forest area, it should be, if we have a number one equivalent to forest area, much easier to deal with. And if it's a grassland, it's equivalent to number two. And if it's, for example, water bodies, it should be number three. This will be easier for us for the processing later. But how to do this? How to uh, take all of those strings value to convert them to numeric values? Then from this numeric, we can convert into raster, which is will be from one to six or one to seven. It depends on how many different list or how many level that we have inside this uh, factor. So, first of all, we have this shape file, which is consider our land cover, our land uses, as you said. So we'll go first to the vector and analysis, and then list unique values. Why we do this? We want to understand how many level are there inside this vector. Okay, how many different land cover or land uses inside this factor? So a list unique, here, this is the land cover. It takes only the uh, vector, so don't worry if you have the same names here. It just takes the vector. Uh, we make sure that which attribute or which column it's contained the attribute. Okay, so it's called the attribute. There is a forest, debris, debris deposit, also forest, barren, land. So it's mixed. It's mixed here. So we want to see the summary. You know, as we did in the uh, ArcGIS, there is a, uh, there is a statistical tools or there is a summarize that it will show us uh, how many level we have here. So actually in in the QGIS, we can just do sorted like this. For example, just sort and we see how many we have. So it's not too much a practical way to do the things. Instead, we will do, as we said, vector analysis tools list unique values. Okay, we come here and we see the attribute, it contains the target field, which is contained the different levels. Okay, so you just run, that's all. Just put the input and put the target, run. You see that we have seven unique values. Seven unique values. It's forest, debris deposit, cultivated lands, barren grasslands, shrublands, and water body. So what you do, you just copy this. Copy. Control and copy. That's all. Then you close it. In case you said, oh, oh I missed it. I don't know where is it. You just go back and you go to the uh, result viewers and you get the last one. It was the forest. Okay, so in case you missed it. All right, so we open this, the land cover, open attribute table, and then we will add a new field. So edit, add a new field, what we call it, this one, if for example, this is land cover, we call it land cover. Okay, what is called? It's called a uh, it's whole integer number. Okay, it's an integer number, so it's fine. Okay, now we'll go to the editor. Okay, which is you see here, it's equal land cover. Okay, so we'll go to the editor from here. And we'll copy and paste this code here. So start from case till the end. Just copy 
I'm going to the editor. We just pasted here. What is this? So here, as you see, why we uh, copied in the beginning. Uh, we copied the uh, level list level from the tool here from the vector and analysis tools. Then we need to know how many level do we have. Okay. So in this case, for example, if you cancel this one. If you go to the process and you go to the result, so you just copy this one. Control, copy, close it, and come back here. Editor, as after we added this column, editor. So you just V, Control V. Then this one is wrong, it's not the uh, code. This is just to remind you how many levels do we have. But you come here and you copy this. From case to the end, copy V. Okay, so this is a guide for you. So the code said when attribute, it's mean this attribute, in you should take the first one. So you take copy, for example, forest, and put it here in the the quotation. Okay, so what I did before, I took the parent land then 1 so the parent will be equal to 1 after that the cultivated copy just copy it and put it in the between the quotation okay just copy paste it we just copy it control c copy and the cultivated here and control v that's all and then you do rest so water body then seven so for example if you have more than this so just copy the last one copy control V if attribute if you have something else for example if you have like empty land if you are just empty if you have just empty land inside the attribute then equal to Eight. okay that's all if you have extra and if you have less just delete so here we are dealing with the seven different levels uh, for you if you have less or more just add this uh, string and then add the number one two three four five six seven okay so you see we still there is an error here why because the first text which is not needed deleted you are okay now Okay, everything is fine. So you just OK. You see the text came here, then you update all. Oh, sorry. Sorry, it should be land cover. Sorry, the mistake. Just put in the land cover. Update all. Okay. So now you can see. Burning land took number of one. Cultivated take two. Sure, four, five, six, seven, water body. Okay, so we have the land cover now. It's equivalent to the attribute. Whatever we have the attribute now as a string, it comes as equivalent to numeric. It's a symbol as it is, like this. And the code also is not that difficult. It start with case, when, quotation, you put the column name that it has the levels in open bracket quotation the type of level inside close the quotation close the brackets then one okay until the end after that it will come here and here you should define now this the new column and then you update all that's all so now we finish the update we can just close the edit save edit yes okay we save the edit so now we have a land cover with the field of the type of land cover. So now you just need to convert this ras uh, vector to raster. We'll find it. So it's conversion, rasterize. So it's raster vector to raster. Okay. 
So it's the input shape file is the land cover. Attribute field, yes, the land cover, the one that we define now. The land cover, the numeric. So now after we added the uh, levels here, we come to the raster and from raster conversion, raster is vector to raster. So we will choose the land cover. Okay, this is a shape file and we should choose the uh, attribute field that we created, the numeric one. So the land cover. Okay, now we need to select where we send our result. So, okay, we can just add in the land cover as a tested one. So here, this will be the land cover. Let's give the extension to TIFF, save. Okay, I said put the resolution, put it as 30 meter by 30 meter following the rest of the layers. Okay, it's all good here. You just press OK. Process completed. Okay, close. So now you see we have our land cover same as the uh, as, a, as a raster. Okay, so now it's ready to process it with the rest of the layers with the pixel size of. 30 meter on the extent following the extent of the original uh, polygon yes. as the original polygon data so this is how to convert the string uh, classes into level numerical classes inside QGIS